This f***ing mosquito, see him? It's right there. No, he looks bad. He's all dark. Like, Zika, you're dead. You got him. <laughs> you got him. Yeah, I did. What's up, Frankie? Thanks for the question. My two cents is this. Every album cycle, every writing process, almost everything we do is different from the time before. I think we really pride ourselves on reinventing, evolving, and not repeating. So yes, we take elements from the past. Some work, some don't. We bring them anyway. But we always try to evolve and look to the future and take a good look at where we're at, leaving the past behind. Well, again, Chris, thanks for the question. Again, usually what happens is we're on a tour cycle, touring the entire world, checking out culture, society, checking out the news, putting our feet in the soil, so to speak, and then we take some time off after that cycle, which is usually to repair our bodies and our brains and our spirituality, whatever that is, and then we get bored. And that's when we start coming up with the ideas. But again, can't repeat what we've done. We can use it as a building block. And when it comes to the stage setup, there's a lot of what didn't work in the past. So we try to rebuild to work better for ourselves, more efficiency, so there's less stress and more time to play and have fun. Thanks for the question. I personally don't like figuring that type of stuff out, but we have these great minds in the band like Sean Cram, the clown, and Corey Taylor that, that think about process and how flow works and all that stuff, and that leads me to you. It, it, <laughs> it is a bit of a science, and I think any artist uh, would tell you that because uh, you got to put your human nature in it, how you feel where you're at in the world today, what day of the week is it, what time is it, all those things kind of go into it. So a lot of great songs fall at the wayside, but then the best ones come up, but it's usually a group. It's like Jim said, it's a flow of how we all feel. Uh, and usually it's a lot of work to even get there. It's, it's, it's a lot of work to find yourself within a chain of command, which is a set list. And, um, but, it has to be done and it is it is hard to do um, because again, we have a lot of other stuff like we have breaks in between songs, we have pyro, uh, there may be implemented ideas like marching snares or other things, changing of tunings of guitars. There's a lot that goes into it besides just putting songs in an order. So it takes several weeks to hone it down and make sure everyone's comfortable with what we have to do and display. So it, 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 it's it's a lot of fun, but it also can be a nightmare. Constantine. Oh, come on. Uh, <laughs> breaking Damien. This is a good This is a good question. So what was it? Uh, mine's you? Constantine. I just got to say. It's easy. This is super if easy. If you say Bill and Ted. River's Edge. Oh, my God. River's Edge, baby. Why did I not think of that? But you did now. That's all that matters. Holy River's shit. Edge. All you do is eat our food and my mom. Mother food eater mother food eater you know I don't like to go too much into it but one thing I wanted to use like I wanted to use a lot of tradition of, of art and I want to go a little more fine so there's a depth to it other than just the picture there's a depth behind the picture I feel like I really wanted you to be able to get on a journey that you didn't even know you're getting into while listening and all of a sudden be taken away from the imagery we usually pound you with. Usually we interject. This is supposed to be like a deep blue ocean that you fall into and, and find yourself in and try to get yourself out. And if anything shows itself within that darkness, uh, you know, it's terrifying. So it's kind of a lure a little bit, you know, but uh, it's a swirling lure of deepness and emotion and um it's a little bit more fine art what's up everybody this is clown and this is jim thanks a lot for tuning in we really appreciate it we're glad you guys are still around be safe in this world today we'll see you very soon out on tour supporting we are not your kind we love each and every one of you be safe thank you